Eight years ago, the Right Honorable George Kittle Price departed this earth, leaving behind a legacy of immeasurable contributions and lasting inspiration that to this day is celebrated and cherished. In his honor, National Service Day is observed every year on September 19, and on this day, the passing of Price is commemorated with a wreath laying ceremony at the Lord's Ridge Cemetery in Belize City. It is known to all of us that he was a stalwart Christian, an unrelenting patriot, and above all, a remarkable human being. We often measure a man's success by things that satisfy our material interests. We look at his bank account, sometimes his estate, his children's inherit inheritance, and so forth. But Price had little to none material interests. He achieved true success, lasting success that has been inked in books for generations to come. He gave all his time, he gave all his energy and capabilities to us. If happiness really is measured by service, he must have left this earth the most joyous person. But the Right Honorable George Cradle Price has left us with priceless gifts that will last an eternity, and I pray that he continues his rest peacefully. Price's most notable contribution, one which can be surpassed by no one, was the achievement of Belize's independence. He was later known as Father of the Nation. George Price our national hero and father of the nation was a good and great leader. Even his worst political detractors concede that he was and will remain one of the greatest leaders of all time. The present and outgoing Prime Minister at the state funeral of the Right Honorable George Price eight years ago would say the PUP will never have another leader like George Price. But then the country will never have another Prime Minister like George Price. And while Price was a great leader, he was a man of great humility. All through his life, Mr. Price wanted us to keep working to make our country better. He did not say, let us wait for someone else to come and build it for us. He believed we could build it ourselves. Mr. Price always believed in Belize and he always believed in us. When I remember about Mr. Price taking on the British and Guatemala, it reminds me of a story that Don Chicho Urbina, the mariscal, as Mr. Price used to call him, for Marincho told me once. Mr. Don Chicho is already has left us. But I remember when he was telling me, he said, you know, um, John, he said, um, you know, when in the 50s, when Mr. Price started walking and visiting all the, the, the country and going to the villages, he said, I took him to a village in, in San Lazaro. And in that time, San Lazaro, there was no roads. So they had to walk through a picado. A picado is a little path in the bush. And he took him to, to San Lazaro. And when he got to San Lazaro, the people in San Lazaro, you know, were, were shocked to see who Mr. Price was. Because Mr. Price was tall, he was stately, but he was not a big man. And the people in San Lazaro look at Don Chicho and say, ese es el hombre que nos va a llevar a la independencia. Ese es el hombre que va a pelear a los británicos. What he, in, in English he said, they said, you know, this is the man that's going to lead us to independence. This is the man that's going to fight the British. Because he was small in build, although he was tall. But as you all said, Mr. Price was a warrior. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyto Novello.